The main difference between the evacuated tube collectors and the flat plate panels um, comes down to the efficiency of the actual panel itself and that's due to the um, the vacuum which provides the almost perfect insulation. Mm -hmm. um, a flat plate panel, um, I have a cutaway of one here, uses the same blue um, spectrally selective coating mm -hmm. to, to absorb the, the sun's energy but instead of having a vacuum to once the energy is inside the collector to ensure it's kept there and used in the right places it has um, insulation to the back and to the sides and then just a glass panel to the front mm -hmm. so the the main difference between a, an evacuated tube and a flat plate panel is uh, an evacuated tube is more efficient per square meter so therefore mm -hmm. you need less of it to generate the same amount of energy um, flat plate panels are generally slightly cheaper so it, it's very easy you, you put on a larger mm -hmm. area of flat plate panels than you would have an evacuated tube um, during the summer months there's very little difference in the actual performance between the two mm -hmm. it's during the winter months when we have very cold outdoor conditions and lower light conditions that the evacuated tubes will actually perform slightly better than the flat plate panels now when we, we install both systems mm -hmm. and um, it's very tricky when customers ask us for our advice on which one's best um, because they suit different people. We normally find the argument comes down to is aesthetics versus efficiency. A lot of people prefer the look of the flat plate panels because they can also be roof integrated whereas if you are after the most efficient system then it would be the evacuated tubes but it generally comes down to winter summer performance. Yeah, Summer months very similar, winter months the, the evacuated tubes will, will definitely provide more.